Linux is having a moment. With the rise of gaming on Linux thanks to tools like Proton, the Steam Deck taking the world by storm, and many distros, new and old, showing what's possible, you'd think everything is golden. But there's a glaring problem. NVIDIA. Despite being one of the world's biggest names in GPUs, NVIDIA's compatibility with Linux is, um, let's call it a work in progress, to be polite. But why is NVIDIA's support for Linux so bad? Why does it matter? And what can be done to fix it? Today, we're diving into the history, the problems, and the potential future of NVIDIA on Linux, including how the announcements made at this year's CES might mark the beginning of a new era. Welcome to Zestia's Tech, by the way. This video is more for your ears than your eyes, so feel free to throw me into another tab right after you hit subscribe. I am definitely going to mispronounce some things, so let me know in the comments what I get right and what I get wrong. To understand where we are, let's take a quick look back. Historically, NVIDIA hasn't been Linux's biggest fan. Their drivers have always been proprietary, which means the community can't tweak or improve them. Contrast this with AMD, which embraced open source drivers years ago and has since earned a ton of goodwill from the Linux community. Then there's Nuvu, the open source driver for NVIDIA GPUs that only exists thanks to reverse engineering. It's not a great experience. Performance is often miles behind proprietary drivers, and some features like dynamic power management have been notoriously unreliable for years. Meanwhile, NVIDIA has been content to release binary-only drivers, leaving Linux users to deal with installation headaches, compatibility issues, and a general sense of being second-class citizens compared to Windows and macOS users. One of the reasons NVIDIA's Linux support feels like a mixed bag is licensing. Some distros, like Ubuntu and PopOS, are able to include NVIDIA's proprietary drivers out of the box. That's because they worked out licensing agreements with NVIDIA, which allow them to redistribute the drivers legally and pre-configured for users. But here's the catch. Those agreements don't come cheap. Smaller or more niche distros often can't afford to pay for licensing, or they don't have the resources to navigate the legal and technical requirements. That's why most distros leave it up to the user to manually download and install NVIDIA's drivers, which can be a frustrating experience. This creates a divide in the Linux ecosystem. If you're using a distro that includes NVIDIA drivers, great, you're all set. But if you're on something like Arch or Gentoo, you're stuck following a guide and hoping everything works as expected, and even when it does, you're still limited by the performance and features NVIDIA chooses to prioritize. There is some exciting news from NVIDIA this year that could signal a shift in their approach to Linux. At the very least, it's a start. At CES 2025, NVIDIA announced a native GeForce Now app for the Steam Deck set to release later this year. Currently, Steam Deck users can access GeForce Now through a browser workaround, but the native app promises a seamless experience with enhanced performance. NVIDIA claims it will support up to 4K resolution at 60 frames per second with HDR when connected to a TV. This is huge, not just for the Steam Deck, but potentially for Linux gaming as a whole. To be clear, this is not a massive rollout of drivers suddenly available for all Linux distros. There's not even a confirmation that this particular app will work on anything other than the Steam Deck. For everyone else on Linux, they're stuck using browser-based solutions or unofficial clients to access GeForce Now. The announcement feels like a step in the right direction, but it also highlights the ongoing divide between proprietary solutions tailored to specific platforms and the open source ideals many Linux users value. This is just their streaming service, not full driver support, but it shows that they're talking to Valve. They are, in a very mainstream way, acknowledging that Linux even exists. We'll take what we can get. Valve has very deep pockets, and if money has to do the talking to get NVIDIA to support Linux, that's a win for everyone. At the end of the day, NVIDIA's lack of support for Linux is still one of the biggest hurdles holding the platform back. Whether you're gaming, working, or doing anything in between, dealing with NVIDIA on Linux feels like an unnecessary challenge. But there is hope. With the rise of SteamOS 3 and the influence of companies like Valve, we might finally see a shift. NVIDIA could become an ally to the Linux community, or at the very least stop being an enemy. But what do you think? Is NVIDIA's Linux support a lost cause? Or do you think that the pressure from Valve and the community could actually make a difference? Do you think they would ever go as far as to making their drivers open source like AMD has? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next one.